Welcome home to St. Peter's College, and happy Veterans Day. My name is Michael Fazio, and I serve as Vice President for Advancement and External Affairs here at St. Peter's College. And I want to welcome you to this very special celebration of the Pershing Rifles. Now, it's only appropriate to begin today's program with the singing of our national anthem. And to help us do that, I am pleased to introduce you to the Aiden C. McMullen Chorale under the direction of Kevin Cummins. Outstanding traits of leadership. This is very much the mission of St. Peter's College as well. And so without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to our leader, the 22nd president of St. Peter's College, Dr. Eugene Bernacchi. Thank you, Mary. I too am in awe of today's attendance. This is just spectacular, really. It's incredible. I'll be brief because I know everyone wants to get to the unveiling, but let me just say this. Mike mentioned fraternity a few moments ago. That's what makes St. Peter's so special. In the Jesuit tradition, we build fraternity. And with more female students these days than men, we build sorority too, each and every day. Whether through the Persian Rifles, Argus Eyes, the powwow, the Corral, campus ministry, or our athletics teams, Community is the cornerstone of a St. Peter's College education. Soon, by the way, to be a St. Peter's University education. I am so pleased that today on Veterans Day, we are honoring one of the most prestigious student organizations that this college has seen. And we're doing it just a few hundred yards away from the site where future students will one day soon work together to build their own sense of community. As you may have heard, we've broken ground on our new student center, a 90,000 square foot, six story facility that will transform our campus. In just about 18 months, our students will have dedicated space for their extracurricular clubs and activities. I know you probably wish you had that when you were here, but you nonetheless seem to manage to build your own very strong community. And there is so much more going on at St. Peter's, from our acquisition of St. Aidan's Church to our quest for university status. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about these developments throughout the reception. But right now, I want to introduce you to someone for whom we should all be very, very grateful. Dick O'Brien, a member of the class of 1960, has spearheaded this Pershing Rifles dedication from the very beginning. His belief in this project was, and still is, 
palpable, and he has worked alongside our alumni relations team to make today a reality. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Dick O'Brien. Dick. Well, it's easy to do something when you get great people to do it with. As Gene said, I'm Dick O'Brien, class of 1960, and I pledged, I guess, 57. Uh, one of the events which impressed me so much about the college and Gene was that when I began on the Board of Regents, a number of you guys came to me and said, you know, I'm concerned about our trophies. We ran a lot of trophies, and we wear the trophies. And frankly, a lot of things happened, and the trophies got misplaced. So I discussed it with Gene, and he kind of cut through the Gordian knot right away, but I said, you know, why don't we put up a plaque which is going to commemorate and dedicate to the four decades of Persian rifles here in the college. And I was just so impressed. And right away, Commissioner Mike Fassio, who just spoke, who were curios in the back, Susan Lance, and they really dug into this. So we're extremely proud about this. So what I'd like to do is have Joe Rapley, Governor representing the 50s. Uh, unfortunately, John Jasinski's not here, but it's all represented in the 60s. Carlos, would you come up to him? And Carlos has done a yeoman's job of being the eyes and ears of the web, Facebook, and all the other great technology. Members of the Persian Rifles of St. Peter's College, who for 40 years brought honor and recognition to the college, ROTC, and themselves by exhibiting the highest proficiency in military drill, discipline, and spirit by winning national and local trophy honors. They developed a camaraderie and brotherhood that lasts to this day, served our country in the war of peace. At the bottom is from General John Pershing. The purpose of the National Society of Persian Rifles is to develop to the highest degree possible outstanding traits of leadership, military science, military learning, and discipline within the framework of a military-oriented honorary fraternity. Signed, General John J. Pershing. Last week at the Jesuit community, I was telling some of my Jesuit brothers that I was going to be able to do the blessing for all of you today, and the, those that were sitting at my table looked at me and they said, Steve, do you realize what an honor that is, and how dedicated these, God, these people are to St. Peter's? And, and then I went and I heard about many of your accomplishments. And so I feel very blessed to be able to be the one to pray with you today and, and to bless you. And I also, on behalf of my Jesuit brothers, they asked me to send their greetings to you and their utmost respect for being here. And so as we, we begin this night and we bless not only this plaque, but also all of you here tonight, let us quiet our hearts and call upon our God of freedom. The God who has called us here today to be a people who are free so that we can serve him and his people. O oh God of freedom, in every age 
You call elect people to show us what it means to be loyal and true companions. This evening, we honor these generous men here before us who faithfully serve St. Peter's College and many our country with great generosity, pride, and justice. With gratitude, we are thankful for their presence. We are humbled by their loyalty to our college, to our country, and to you. We are proud and thankful that they have showed us what it means to be faithful companions, what it truly means to be people for others. And on this Veterans Day, we revere all who are veterans. Those resting with God in glory, those who suffer the wounds of war, and those who with all of us enjoy the blessing of living in the land of the free and the home of the brave. May they know of our respect for them, and may you keep them safe. And as we bless these PRs here before us in this plaque that reminds us of their presence and their graciousness, may you bless them and help them to feel how proud we are to have them as fellow peacocks and part of our family. And may they know of our utmost gratitude for their service and for showing us what it means to be companions in you. And may God bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you.